Play is such an interesting category, in many ways, for me at least, even more interesting than ritual, because ritual finally is settled, but play is is ambivalent, ambiguous, and not really uh, settled. And uh, I want to talk about uh, two subsets of play, deep play and dark play. Now, deep play is a term that was first brought into use by Jeremy Bentham, an 18th century uh, English philosopher. He's also the author of the idea of the panopticon, the prison where everybody is spied upon all the time, a kind of Orwellian world. But his notion of deep play is, uh, he was asking the question, what is it if we play and the play becomes uh, so serious that we risk our whole lives uh, with it. Something uh, like a, a, a gambler. Uh, uh, Dostoevsky's novels are filled of these uh, gamblers who gamble too much, who lose everything. Uh, the uh, Indian uh, epic, the Mahabharata, begins with a dice game in which the uh, 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 Yudhishthira, the uh, uh, oldest brother of the Pandavas, gambles away everything, including his wife. And he loses, and it starts a great war. So deep play is when you get involved in something which you don't have to get involved in, which you're playing, but it gets very, very, very serious, and you, you can't find your way out. Sometimes in human relations, in love relations especially, we find ourselves very, very involved in deep play. Uh, Clifford Geertz wrote about it in relationship to the Balinese cockfight, in which he calls notes on the Balinese cockfight uh, about deep play, in which he talks about how the Balinese bet too much on these uh, uh, battles between birds. Now, dark play is related to deep play. It's something that uh, I uh, theorized about, and it is when we are playing and only one one of the parties knows we're playing. The most obvious of these are con games. So in a con game, somebody represents themselves to somebody else as somebody who that somebody uh, who, who you are not. So in a con game, you know, if you're the conner, that you're playing. But if you're the conned, you do not know that, you, that you're playing. Or a very popular, uh, some of these uh, popular TV shows, survival and uh, uh, other reality shows, where the viewer knows one thing and the participants know something else. Uh, any kind of uh, deep disguise where you do identity shifting, identity theft, uh, these are uh, varieties of dark play. So dark play can also be dangerous psychologically, fiscally, and, and so on, but it's their form of play because they undertake a, a kind of free shifting of who you are and how you do things. In my classes, uh, where I teach uh, this kind of thing, I like to assign students to go out and do some dark play. I tell them, you know, don't take too many chances, but try to play where you know you're playing and the person you're playing with does not know you're playing, and then come back and let's talk about what happens.